Hi Scorpio, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm Karma and this is Karma Light Readings. I'm sorry you can't see my face today. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I don't want to be on camera. But this is your love reading for July 21st through July 29th. I have you right here. Here is Scorpio. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, this is a love reading for Scorpio, July 21st through July 31st. What do we have? Whew. So we have some fire signs here in reverse. Knight of Wands and Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody is in their ego. Somebody may have been a little rude lately in this connection, Scorpio. Somebody is in their ego. They're being very pushy and very manipulative. And somebody does not like it. Who is in their ego and being so rude? I see like some arguments going on. Petty, petty battles. A lot of frustration right now, Scorpio. A lot of frustration. So let's ask Spirit, can we have some clarification here? So I have the High Priestess in reverse. This is letting me know that somebody... Somebody's trying to bring balance to this. Somebody is trying to bring balance to whatever is going on in this connection that is causing this disruption, okay? Um, I feel like it's a new, almost a new beginning. Somebody's trying to birth something new in a connection, okay? A lot of emotion, a lot of fertility too. So I would be careful here, Scorpio, check out... If you are expecting a baby, if not, you might be soon. Let's see, what do we have here? Yes. So the Nine of Cups. So right now we're kind of seeing something. Maybe this was the recent past, okay? You guys have kind of been going through something in a connection with somebody that was a lot of anger. You really needing to go deep inside and really needing to go deep inside and see what can you bring out? What can bring harmony? What can bring you some peace, Scorpio, in this connection? And Spirit's giving us the Nine of Cups. So you're coming into that confidence. You're coming into that very healthy, loving relationship, okay? Feeling like you're winning with this connection. We have Virgo's energy here in reverse, though. So when I have Virgo in reverse, this is letting me know somebody's been very cold, and withdrawn okay somebody's been very cold and withdrawn we have leo's energy here could be sagittarius or aries as well maybe it's in their chart but we have the queen of wands so i feel like scorpio somebody has been going through some sort of deep inner healing and really thinking about things that have been happening in their life things that they've done to people things that people have done to them and really trying to transmute it all and heal it all and bring it to the surface, okay? To come out of this period of darkness. And, and there's been a lot of positive growth and healing in this person, whether it's male or female. It's somehow getting them in touch with their feminine side, their feminine energies here by coming into their queen of wands energy, very passionate, um, very sure of their beliefs, who they are and what they stand for. But I think that even though there's been some positive growth during this transitional period, Scorpio, for this person, it's kind of caused them to be withdrawn and disconnect from a connection. Okay, so let's get some clarification here from Spirit. What do we have? Yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Something has been very unfair. Somebody's been very condescending. But I also feel like the other person, whoever's been unfair in the connection, it's been causing somebody else in the connection to almost feel to almost feel like a beggar to feel like they're begging for something and here we have the queen of swords so somebody has been begging for some sort of assurance or clarity reassurance on this connection i don't know if this is you scorpio or somebody else but it's like it's not they're not getting it they're getting very very frustrated so I have the two of wands in reverse. Somebody was just not sensitive to it. They were being very cocky and arrogant to this queen of swords energy here, really needing to understand why are you pulling back, 
because we see that somebody got very withdrawn from this connection and here we see it again somebody was very arrogant not sensitive at all to their other person's needs in the relationship we have cancer in reverse the chariot so this connection experienced a setback scorpio this connection has experienced a setback and it was I, you may have broken up but it's really put a damper on things so let's see what do we have in store spirit what does scorpio have in store for this connection july 21st through july 31st spirit so this connection is definitely has some karmic ties to it okay some soulmate ties to it here but we have destiny luck cycles okay so good things are coming it seems as though the wheel is turning in your favor scorpio or in the favor of this connection be careful though that somebody isn't taking somebody else for a ride because i do have scorpio temperance in reverse so somebody could be feeling very overwhelmed okay and and kind of worried about what somebody's intentions are in this connection which is why we've experienced a setback because of this arrogant behavior here okay and this seems to be popping up again that there's somebody here scorpio who's just very selfish or has been has been acting very selfish so spirit is saying you have an admirer somebody either you or the person in this connection there's some passionate emotions going on here very strong physical attraction physical connection mental connection soul connection this is a deep relationship somebody just is re i think that both parties are very deeply attracted to one another but somebody is really in their emotions. Somebody is really trying to be strong, okay? But they need the support of their partner. And I don't think that they're realizing that this King of Cups is somebody who's there to help, to offer mental support to somebody who might need an extra hand in understanding something. So let's see what Spirit has to say. Five of Cups in reverse. So somebody... I think that this connection took a back seat. Somebody's kind of taken a back seat to love, okay? They're very hurt, Scorpio, about what has happened to the past. They're in a deep mode of contemplation and in their emotions and trying to figure out what happened, what went wrong in this relationship, you know, where they were really regretting what had happened and wanting it back. They've kind of come out of that regret. They're accepting it for what it is and they're moving forward because they're realizing maybe they should take a break. Next message we have is opportunity to forgive. Spirit is saying that you have the chance here or somebody else to forgive or heal. Something happened in this connection and there will be an opportunity to heal with the other person, either for both of you to forgive each other for wrongdoings. I'm not even going to say one or the other. It is for both of you to heal and to forgive each other for anything that has happened in the past. Exactly. And look at the card that comes out right when I say that. Let your past go. So spirit is really saying, Scorpio, that when, when it comes time to come back together with this person, this is, some, this is a learning relationship. This is something, that's why we have Virgo too. This is a relationship that kind of triggers you and pushes you to go within yourself and to heal yourself and that's why we have spirit here saying to let your past go an opportunity to forgive because they really want you to be able to heal with this person and understand that we're all going to go through ups and downs but it's how we handle the situation and heal from it that is most important okay scorpio i see this week for you again some sort of peace offering reconciliation making a lot of sense with this opportunity to forgive so the page of pentacles coming through i don't know if this is going to be you forgiving somebody or you asking for forgiveness here i have two cards here that just fell out i have aquarius energy here in reverse the star okay so somebody was very confused somebody was very confused about this connection and made the decision to kind of walk away and take a break okay but and what I mean by that is they don't know what to do. 
They've been very confused and they've thought, should I move on? Do I need to take a break? They're very determined though. They really love this connection. They don't know if they should stay or go. It's like they're teeter-tottering here. They're not quite sure what to do when it comes to this connection. This could be you, Scorpio, or how your person feels. Spirit, can we get some closing messages for Scorpio Love, July 21st through the 31st? Wow. You know what? This is too much. I don't... Let's see. Yes. So they don't know what to do, and Spirit is saying move forward and celebrate this connection because where you've been pained where you've been pained in the past you're going to surrender and you're going to rebirth this connection and it's going to be very liberating and very freeing all of this pain that you've experienced in the past whether it was with this person or somebody else you're going to be able to let that go and you guys are going to come into a really balanced connection where everything is reciprocated. You know that you're loved. They know that they're loved. Vice versa. Okay. Oh, wow. So I have the king of pentacles. The three of pentacles. And the empress. So again, this is the beginning of something beautiful. The birth of something new. Somebody again, Scorpio, maybe. I mean, you guys are birthing something new here. But I also have... The three of pentacles, okay? So success and growth, people coming together. The empress coming together with her king of pentacles, very confident, okay? M knows what he wants, okay? Very nurturing for, for a, a male type of energy. Again, spirit, just some closing messages. For Scorpio, July 21st. Here we go, what is this? We have Taurus's energy here. So somebody's definitely wants to take this relationship to the next level some sort of commitment or declaration of how they feel for you or how you feel for them balance and renewal so again the hierophant which represents taurus scorpio there is some sort of renewal coming to this connection rebirth coming together it looks like there was some pain in the past that caused some separation but somebody's coming forward because they want this and they want it to be serious and they want it to be with you. This is your love reading Scorpio July 21st through July 31st. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, like my video and let me know how this resonated. Come back soon to check out August love readings next week. Thank you.